Shut up and sit down. What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So real quick, you just saw me unbox the new Ansel BD310 scanner. Um, this one, we're going to hook it up to a car here. It's a little bit different. Um, to me, this one's probably more geared towards you know, a DIY guy. Yes, can I use it in the shop here? Definitely. Is it different? Yes, it has a lot of features on it. This is not only just a stand by itself you know, pocket scanner or what have you, but it also comes with an app. As you guys seen in the box, it also comes with a little mounting stand so you can stick it into your vents on your car and have this thing, you know, ride with you while you're driving, test driving the car or if you own the car and you want to have more on-screen PIDs, all that stuff, your car's dash gauge doesn't come with the RPM or what have you, you could set this up to show you some of the PIDs on there. But real quick, we're going to go through some of the features, hook it up into this Alero I got. Definitely uh, seems like a nice scanner, it's got a nice long cord with a flat cable so if you wanted to you know route this and have it stay in the car you could definitely hide the wire follow it up to the dash it's got a uh, you know the OBD port comes out on an angle so it doesn't hang out your foot doesn't kick it if this stays plugged into the dongle underneath the DLC port but uh, let's get this thing hooked up and check out some of the modes and features check it out alright guys so I got this thing plugged in and it looks like once you plug it in goes into a Bluetooth mode there is two modes on this thing you can hook it up through your phone or hit the little button on the side it's got a little Wi-Fi icon there and it switch it over to you know stationary mode where it stays on here um, here's some of the settings on this looks like you got your OBD2 scan it's got the metering it's got the IM monitors and then setup you know some measure language same normal stuff go back Let's jump right down into uh, metering. This car does not have any codes on it, but I wanted to run through vehicle speed sensor. You got your RPM. You, it looks like you could change the screen. It graphs it for you. Let's get this thing started up. So it definitely shows the grafting. A little bit of a lag, but not too bad. Let's see the other settings it has. There's your RPMs. And of course, the top one would show your miles per hour. You got your coolant temp, throttle position, you got your air temp sensor, Oh, power not available. Definitely some nice ones here. So it looks like you switched between three on this screen. We'll go back. Let's see, OBD2, let's see how fast it scans. I'm gonna leave it, go ahead and leave it running. Here's all the information on that. Read codes. You drop it down to race codes, check your monitors from here, you got data stream. Same typical stuff between any other scanner. Fuel trim, map sensor, not bad, not bad. Full colored screen. Pretty nice. Go back. Gives you a freeze frame. I'm pretty sure this older GM's not going to do freeze frame. Doesn't support it from the vehicle, but the ones that do, that's nice. You got your EVAP test, vehicle information. <clears throat> Back again. Yes. So, go on IM monitors. Gives you a quick run through. Everything's all set, ready to go, no codes. So that's a nice little feature to have. Use this thing real quick to check those. Tells you what they are, like any typical scanner. So that's pretty much what this unit does here. And of course you got the option to mount it, keep it in the car, just shove this guy into the vents and it does mount, it's mountable. So you can kind of leave that here, have the wire stay with the car, have your information anytime you need it. All right guys, I'm gonna show you some of the features in the Bluetooth mode, which is the default mode when you first plug it in. So basically put it on Bluetooth mode, don't hit that button. Then you'll jump over to the smartphone app. The app's called Ansel. You can find that in the Play Store or Apple Store. I'm not going to show you guys how to download an app. You should know how to do that. Basically, open up the app. It's going to connect. And basically, that's it. So you'll pretty much have all the same things. It's got a quick diagnostic. 
performance tests. So when you have this thing with the vehicle, it's got a lot of features to tell you, you know, how far your braking is, what your miles per hour is, and all that good stuff. Like I said, this is more geared toward, you know, if you want to keep it with the car, you know, have it mounted. You guys can see just mounted on the vent there. <clears throat> but some of the nice features on the app, I noticed one, it's got battery check here. Go ahead and hit the play. You can see I got 11.8 volts. Turn the vehicle on. It'll give you drop down on there. Pretty nice. Grabs it for you. Alternator's definitely charging at 14.3. Yeah, your flame out voltage, min and max. Exit through that. You've got EVAP test for the cars that support it. You've got your DTC lookup. It's got a little flashlight app on here to turn your phone's flashlight on. Go to diagnostic. This car doesn't have any codes, but it'll give a quick scan of the car. Shows you the percentage scan is complete. Any codes that would pop up here, you could record it, clear the code from there, and then it's got little icons underneath, free stream, data stream, all that stuff. Um, performance test. This is one for when you got it with the car, you know, drive it. It's going to be obviously hooked to GPS and through the car. So it'll tell you your speed, what it took you to slow down, or your miles per hour. It gives you your distance, things like that. Also, grasp it for you too. You notice it's a, it's a little laggy when it's on the phone, but you definitely get the data you need. Gives your monitors. So a lot of nice features in here. Here's your trip counter. There we go. Got your coolant temp, RPM, and vehicle speed. A little laggy, but for Bluetooth, not too bad. So pretty nice. Nice features. All right, guys. So I just wanted to wrap this one up on the BD310. You know, part number is always be in the description on it, where to find this thing. Leave an Amazon link down below. Uh, try to get the coupon codes for you guys, too. But, uh, you know, my thoughts on this one. You know, definitely this one's more geared toward, you know, the DIY guy, weekend warrior guy, someone that works on their car, their wife's car, or maybe someone, you know, building a car and they want to take it out and, you know, kind of know what the car's doing, get the data on the car as they're driving it. Um, definitely a lot of cool, a lot of cool extra functions on the app side of it. Um, definitely like the battery test, definitely like that you can record and save data, you know, it hooks to the GPS satellite and then they tell you your braking distance, your miles per hour, all that stuff, you can set all that up. You gotta set up an account to use the app. Um, apps in the Play Store, it is free on Android, I'm not sure about uh, Apple users or iPhone, but uh, you know, it definitely looks built well. I like the little magnet add-on you have, you can hang it on the vent, easy, you don't have to screw any holes into the dash or anything like that. I'll keep this around the shop, I'll use it here and there, maybe walking out to doing some parking lot scans, see how it holds up. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Personal little scanner, cheap, you know, under 100 bucks. You know, I, I can't complain. It's, it's definitely, definitely gets the job done. I've seen ones like it. Ansel makes some great products and uh, can't wait to review some more of their stuff. So, you guys looking into this one, more of a personal OBD scanner that stays with the car but doesn't have to, then you got the option to use the smartphone app. This is definitely something to check out. So, but as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check you guys in the next one. Signing out.